Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to film a 2022 review and 2023 lineup. First, I'm going to talk about my 2022 and how that worked out. At the top here, you have all of the standard astrologies that I have used. You have the weeks, a mega and a regular that I have finished in 2022. And then I have my ring insert inserts that I have used throughout the year that I will archive. And then over here, you have my current setup for my standard astrology, my current ring system, and then my current weeks. So um, I do, I will talk about currently later um, because there is a week that's missing somewhere. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was talk about how, and I'm going to pull you down some so we can chat about uh, the standard astrologies. So let me move this away for a minute. So the standard astrologies are ones that I have used throughout the year and they have my system in it, okay? My system um, before this month consisted of my faith inside of it as well. So it was an all-in-one. Okay, so just um, memories, gratitude, scripture, morning pages, food log trackers, soap study, prayers, I mean, you name it. So there was January. I'll kind of just show the covers. Here's February. I like to do like a little theme sometimes. Um, March. So I think for the whole year I was in... Astrology, I think with the exception of the Hobonichi um, gridded notebook that I did in May. So here's April. He is risen. Looks like my acetate's coming off there. I try to keep all of my um, tabs on my actual books. Uh, these are going to be archived in my upstairs shelf. So... May, I did a wide, so it's not standard, as you could see. It's a wide, a wide size. So, I'm just going to kind of flip through the entry part of them. I'm not going to go through, this is not the video where I go through all of them. Here's June. So, it looks like just kind of like summary. July, my body, my choice, and then let's see, August, it's like a summary, I can't go any shorter, I don't think, <laughs> unless I, um, I probably will adjust the camera at some point to bring me closer in, but I wanted to get a good view of these. This one is a Hobonichi gridded notebook too. And then here's October. I try to put the um, months here so when I archive them um, I will know okay this is all of the year and I know it's 2022 because of the way I have it set up. So here's November and then now let me talk about what I did in December. So let me move all of these away and I'll be right back. So for December, I had started with the intention of keeping everything together around the 8th. I decided to take my faith out, okay? And put it in a separate notebook. So I believe I stopped fifth chapter. I, this week, the 5th through the 11th, I started with a different uh, sections. So I did, instead of, I took my faith out and I did um, a tracker area, pages for a list for my family members. So like collection list, home school, and then like a money section. Oh no, sorry. My food log. Then I did like a money section where I could um, track my spending and de-stash and debits. And then that's what I basically used for my sections 
when I took out my faith. So I knew I was going to have to archive this, the journaling, the marriage, the pretty planning, all that was going to go. And I was going to go into a more slim lined approach. So in comes how I have it currently set up. So in the new year, I will go into half year astrologies. All those that you just saw were full year astrologies. So that is because I am putting my um, faith into a mole, a mole skin, a wide, wide size. And I will have my devotion, soap, prayers. This is the uh, expanded version. And I more than likely will cut the side here I mean, half the book and do like a faith commonplace book. But for right now, it's separated. So I have that separated and my main system will be in a half year astrology. But December is going to be, so when I archive it, it's going to be in this paper penguin co insert and the December book that you just, um, that I just shown. So both of these will be archived. This is the year, the monthly for the whole year. This will be archived as well. So this would literally just come out and I will archive it with my stuff. This will come out. And then what will happen in the new year is I will put in my half year Stology that's already kind of has my current system now. Then there's a little book for a commonplace and then here is my 2023 monthly. Now I haven't decided if I'm gonna cut this portion just like I cut my monthly for 2022 to put in here because I am shooting for the standard TN for 2023 for my main system. This is in the color apricot mode term. Yesterday on my live, I learned you can wipe it down with a wipey and all of the little dirt will come off. So thank God for that. I think it was Samantha from Written Treasures that told me and thank God because I was literally about to like, just, I swear it looked so bad. So anyhow, that is my main system my main everything for 2022 that I have used. Now let's talk about the weeks. That is a part of my lineup. So from November 2021 to September 5th, 2022, I was in this. I have a whole flip through and it's basically so I can have a a portion of the year recorded in a book with the Hobonichi Weeks and then the back has memories and pictures. So I did that in Omega and then I used another one for like on the go. That's how I did it for a while. And I continue, I'm gonna continue that approach. Um, I, I, want, I used this for homeschool for a little bit, then I used it like it's not completely all the way used but i just told myself i'm done with it because it's just you know we got new ones that come in for 2023 so for 2023 i will um, show you what i'm using but this is basically what i used as a review for 2022 then in comes the rings that's a part of my lineup the rings i allow myself to go in and out of so i used from January through April, the seven habits from Franklin Covey, and they are the day on two pages that look like that. And I cut them to the personal size. Then I went to the Filofax day on two pages, and I loved that for March and April. Then it looks like during February sometime, I also, February through April, I also dabbled through the personal wide size. And then here's the weeks for, um, the personal so I do you know dailies and weeklies I also have the monthlies but my biggest thing is to to um, archive the weeklies and the dailies so towards the end of the year uh, uh, looks like May or half of the year I went in a six and then here's the rest that I need to put away 
there's some weeklies. So it looks like I've got the weeklies to put away. And I am currently in December still, so I'll show you what that looks like. And then like the dailies, I'll just kind of put over here. So it's just showing me which what I used that was in those sizes. And then for the end of the year, I was in, as you can remember, October and November, I was in a pocket size. So I will archive all of this in my little box and it just shows me that I used different sizes throughout 2022 and I will be doing the exact same thing for 2023. So let me grab 2023 stuff now. For 2023, you saw my standard system, standard TN that I will be in, right? So that is gonna be in Motrim covers. That is going to be in the half year astrology, a monthly book, and a commonplace book. Um, it is important to note that with the commonplace book, I might go into several different things. For what it is right now, I am going to use a TN insert. What is a commonplace book? A regular notebook. Okay, so my faith will be in this wide. Um, I could show you the beginning of it, but I'm not going to flip through the pages. I told myself I'm not going to share that anymore. Why? Because people are just a little too nosy and it's just not going to happen. So these are like the cover pages going into it. Um, so yeah, it will basically be my devotion. I will have an encouragement page and then I will go into um, my soap study and prayers. So I will be in that as well. Here's the current ring system, which is a um, personal Filofax stone. Um, my setup, I'll probably go into a little bit more deeper, but what I have is my inbox right up front, my 2022 yearly, my 2023 yearly, some more information for inbox. I like having all of that. These are for lists, so any kind of collections I want to make. And then it goes into my weekly. My weekly, I will be in Filofax, my favorite inserts. They will look like this. Here we are today. And then I've got 2023 in here, I think probably until like February, March, February, I think. Then I go into the daily which right now I am using the other portion of the seven habits. That's yesterday. Here's today. And then what I did was I purchased the Monticello down one page from Franklin Covey so I can cut them down to personal. They look like this. I am very excited because it has, a, it's just a day on a page versus the day on two pages like this. So I know me, I will want a day on two page. So what I'll do is just insert a single page right here and make it day on two pages for myself. I did that because this is a cheaper option, inexpensive option. I wanna say this was $40 or $43 for the day on two pages and the day, a day on one page and the day on two pages were like 64. So I also have a monthly for December. I'm just in this one. And then after that, I have the Seven Habits 2023s. Instead of the Monticello monthlies, I know that at some point, I'm probably going to allow myself to go back into Franklin Covey um, compact size. So I will only cut these down as in the months that I'm going to use. So January, I'm going into personal. Let's say, for instance, I go into pocket size for rings in February. Well, I'm not going to cut down these inserts. You know, I'm going to leave them as they are. Um, or, you know, I go into the compact, Franklin Covey compact size, then obviously I will use these. So that is my approach with my rings. I love it. And I did it all throughout 2022 as well. Um, of course, I have a lot of ring covers, so I will let that be that. For the weeks, I will um, be in, I haven't set it all the way up the cover yet because I was just talking about in my live 
that, I'm going to bring back out my 2023. I started this one September 5th. So that's how this goes, this mega. So I want it to be exactly like how I did over here. So this book will essentially get like this for 2023. And this is a Slim Apunto cover. And then, you know, I've got pictures in the back. So that is how this one will be. And then I have the regular one that will be more so on the go. I'm going to do an inbox section and be very, very muted. So that way when I'm out and I'm like with, you know, on a professional outing or something, I'm not opening it up to like crazy chaos. So here is November, here's December, and then here's the current week. And I, this is the standard size, which is not at the mega. So I will use this for like notes on the go. But that is my plan so far for the weeks. On the go is subject to change. <laughs> Everyday carry, when I carry in my purse, is subject to change. I know me, I get tired of the weeks very easily. So in comes the Moleskine Daily. I, this is 2022, I still have a reasonable amount left. So I will allow for that as my everyday carry or A6. I have a Muji notebook that's undated. And then I have a regular little notebook in here for, for uh, weeks. There is a month as well in the Muji. Um, I'm not sure if you could see that. So it looks like that week on a page so it's literally like a hobonichi weeks but in a different size this is for me to use a different cover a different size so for the on the goes for now i'm allowing myself to just do this now if you remember my pre-planning you know uh what's close to me i don't have here's my pre-planning for october right this is the first one i just picked up it's an excuse for me to use my stickers. Well, what will I do that in? This. <laughs> it is a full year Hobonichi Cousin A5 cut down to a B6 slim size. It was gifted to me and so it was completely used. It's a 2021, so I will repurpose it. This is when I will start January in that so i'm not using this until january i will use this as stickerage and i could not be happier i mean i have everything that is going to make sense for me if anything changes i will allow myself for it to change i i'm um i'm just one of those ones that don't like freak out even if you follow me on Instagram, there was a post that I put up. Okay, I'm putting away my rings and my weeks. The very next day, I brought out my rings and my weeks again. So, <laughs> things are subject to change. Things are in terms of the sizes. But my lineup is going to stay true to a standard size TN, rings, and weeks. That's what happened this year. Um, and that's what I'll go into for 2023. So yeah, I just wanted to film what it's going to look like for now. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you're watching all of the 2023 lineups, have fun. And remember that it, we still have two more weeks. If you want to change it all, do it. <laughs> God bless you.